the season season's about to be underway. You know, we've got week one in Cleveland coming up. We've had the preseason kinks out of the way. I, I deserve a little R&R. &R. I deserve a little get the cabeza clear. You know what I mean? Went to Yosemite National Park, one of my favorite places in the whole world. It is the exact opposite of a sold out NFL football stadium. I've always found that uh, if you want to slow down father time, tap in with mother nature. You know what I mean? Sounds like it's like a proverb or something. And I'm gonna I'm gonna treat this differently than I did in my younger years. I'm an adult now. I won't bring, you know, a half a pound of mushrooms and really trying to find out why we're all stardust. I'm not gonna do that. You ever sit there and think like, damn, I should have brought mushrooms. So I don't think there's a better way to uh, to clear the mind than Yosemite National Park. And Yosemite, if you're looking to partner up, I'm looking for sponsorship. I don't know how you guys are doing in the national parks these days, but uh, hit your boy up. Mahal's 20 lanes. Bowling alley slash comedy slash live show. Are you here for the comedy show? I'm Michael Turner. It'll be fun, I swear. I'm gonna hit my dick. What's up, guys? Come on in. Can we go inside? Stand up comedy show at 7. Oh, you guys wanna do it? Yeah, maybe. For sure. It's that white guy in the picture. That's a handsome boy. We got a lot of stuff going on. We got cocktails downstairs. Let's get eyes on that. Big, big Lebowski vibes. Those, that's a lane with the personality right there, you can see it. That lane has been divorced three times, you know what I mean? Working on a fourth wife, that lane right there. The wood doesn't work like it used to, but it still gets the job done, you know what I mean? Honestly, I talk a lot of shit about Cleveland, but they might, they might have this bowling alley, half cocktail lounge, half comedy lounge figured out. Dude, you kidding me? Dude, imagine it's summer 1973, that dude looks you in the eye and says, someday lady, you'll accompany me. There's a stranger in town. We've got tonight. Let's make some night moves. This is actually the TV that showed the last time the Browns were successful. Right there. I thought that the Bengals had some, some sad fans throughout the 90s, but then you really do some Google searches and you realize it might have been worse in Cleveland. So yeah, yeah, you never know who's gonna get eyes on this thing once you start once you start a movement like this. And uh, lo and behold, the Cincinnati Bengals reached out all the way from the top, or at least somebody that is uh, in the media department, which has got to be near the top. I don't know. How the, I don't know the org chart. Uh, my name is Michael Turner. I'm a stand-up comedian. I live in LA, but born and raised in Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, I mean they see what we're doing. They see the buzz that we're creating in the city. And, uh, you know, they, they want to elevate themselves through my, through my success, obviously. I don't know a lot of people that are 36 that had a conscious decision of choosing this franchise. God bless them, but the 90s were tough. Um, I had a troubled youth, and it wasn't because of what was going on in my household. It was what was going on in the football field. Sure, they've kicked me around enough in my life and uh, completely ruined entire winters. A um, couple, of, couple of holiday seasons just kind of gone to shit because of, of things that their organization did to me personally. Um, but I'll, you know, I'll take the high road. Oh, you want to see a pro? Shout out to Crossgate Lanes, where I shot my first gutter ball. They seemed like they needed, uh, they needed a new face to the franchise, and I'm happy to step in. You know, they see me as being an elevator for their organization. And they're hitting me up, you know, begging me, begging me to be on, on their, their weekly show, they do a weekly show called From the Jungle. And uh, obviously they know that I'm born in the jungle. Uh, I have an upbringing very much like Mowgli. What? X gonna give it to you, baby. That is actually crazy. I haven't done that. I wanna call so many ex-girlfriends and been like, remember when you beat me and I couldn't bowl over 100? So, 
We're here. The 2023 Bengals are beginning their season. Uh, I'm jacked up. They hit me with a contract, and it is a uh, indefinite amount of days contract, and it is for zero dollars. One day after Joe Burrow signed 275. Uh, you know, I'm a big picture guy. I see the value. I'll shake the hand. You know, maybe a little, a little under the table money. You know what I mean? I ran it by my lawyers. This is Lerner and Rowe, my DUI guys. Appreciate what you guys did for me in Scottsdale uh, back in 2010. I asked what could we do better and they said you have zero leverage. And um, at that point I put pen to paper. A lifetime contract with the Bengals, it's a big move. Who day, baby? You know, we made it to Bengals.com. It's a big move. I called my mom, she didn't pick up, but um, I know she's proud. Send her the link in the text. She, she said, do you hit, do you click the link or do I go to Safari? I said, just hit the link. So my, I, hope, I think my mom saw it. If I can just be a, the Bengals comedian, I didn't even think about it when I started comedy, but that's literally actually all I want in life. And they can, they can keep the money. Hey, I don't, I don't know how long you guys are bowling, but we got, there's a comedy show at 7 o'clock if you guys want to come through. It's time to 7 o'clock. Oh, really? That's, and that's fine. And that's fine. You can stay down here and get hammered. <laughs>
I used to think stand-up comedy was one of the hardest jobs in the world, but I'm thinking real estate in Cleveland might be might be up there. Uh, There's a tough looking skyline. It looks like poverty and depression. There it is. Factory of sadness. You can see all the uh, the banners from all the AFC North championships they've won. You can see them from anywhere because there aren't any. You know what I mean? Oh damn, there are people already out there. Holy shit. <laughs> oh baby. This is the biggest AA meeting I've ever seen. Not a great part of town. Still looking for the good part of town, actually. We got the higher ground right now, but we're gonna go in there. But well, we're doing a little recon. We're going right into the belly of the beast. They call this the Muni lot. People been chattering a lot. Browns football. Let's see how the tailgate hits. These guys look like assholes. You got anything to say to the camera? I got something to say. <laughs> All right. Just be yourself. Commanders, Ravens, money line, parlay, two pick, plus 110. That's the fucking lock that's set. So I thought it was an AA meeting we're going to. This is actually Gamblers Anonymous. <laughs> Do you want to see the bathroom in Cleveland? It's right behind this RV right here. No lie, the dude on the end here, he was taking a shit a little bit ago. You just missed it. It's love. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Fuck this dude. They beat the Bengals a lot. They just don't beat anybody else. Like I haven't lost before. Do you know what we got? Drinking problems. You know what I mean? You don't think I'm gonna deal with this? Yeah. Really problematically? Or THC? THC? You got weed? What? No. <laughs> now we just gotta lick our wounds. And uh, you know we're we're a week two football team anyway. I've always said that. We don't like week one. We don't respect it. Nobody should. And they're gonna go back to Cincinnati and get right, and uh, I'm gonna do the same. The thing about going back to Cincinnati is knowing that it's a round trip. <laughs> I can get the hell out of there. The time I arrive in Cincinnati, I'd say within 22 minutes, I'll be eating two cheese conies and a three-way. And a lot of people think that that's a sexual move that I'm talking about, but that is just dinner where I'm from. Shout out to Skyline Chili. A lot of people wondering how I'm doing since we're 0-1. If you don't think I know how to be a Bengals fan and be 0-1, you haven't been paying attention. Oh, well, not you, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm not, I'm not flicking you off. That was specifically for, I would never flick off Mick Jagger. Here we are. You guys probably thought I was driving to the airport. I'm driving to the bus station. 
Today is 9-11. You're not catching me on an airplane. Fool me, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on, uh, well, you're not going to fool me again. You know what I'm talking about. Shout out to the greatest philosopher of all time, George W. Bush. Ooh. <laughs> the Cleveland bus station is exactly how we imagined it. Holy shit. Pray for me. Mama, I'm coming home. Next stop, Cincinnati. To the jungle. To heal my wounds. And hopefully somebody's got some ayahuasca to make sense of this all. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, baby. I heard they got a Nickelback jacket in there. It's in the loss and found. You got it. Shout out to Brody Stevens. One of the best to ever fucking do it. R.I.P. Next week on Hard Knocks. On the road with Michael Turner. You can't go 16 and 1 without losing that first one. That's right. So today we started off, we go one and one again.